What's up guys? This is a four star map. I'm Tyler. What we're going to be talking about today is CERN, which is a nuclear research organization that's located in Switzerland and France. And we're also going to be talking about a super weird opening ceremony for an opening tunnel for a railway. Uh, the opening ceremony is not fitting at all uh, to a railway opening ceremony, so we're going to get into that. It's super strange. Um, and then what we're also going to talk about is uh, just a bunch of different theories and stuff surrounding that. Uh, first, I want to talk about what Eric Weinstein dubbed as responsible uh, conspiracy theory thinking. So, first off, I just want to get into how labeling people, uh, if they think a certain way, uh, can be useful because we can categorize people into useful categories based on you know how they think. Uh, but the negative name calling is where we face a problem because then you'll just dismiss everything that these people are saying. And when it comes to conspiracy theorists, uh, sure, there's a lot of crazy conspiracy theories. But at the same time, the last two years with COVID-19 and the pandemic and how it's been handled by governments around the world, um, and then also with the news of China having a uh, weather, uh, some type of like weather control technology, uh, that being real, a lot of things uh, are being, and the UFO reveal by the Pentagon a couple years ago too, it's like there's a handful of things that are being revealed now that people, conspiracy theorists, were talking about 10 years ago and you know now they're coming true. So maybe instead of labeling people, we should listen to what people have to say and at least take it into account and then do our own research. We have the tools for it, so let's do it. So I, I wanna change the language around conspiracy theorists because I think that's too negative and I think it dismisses the ideas that they have too quickly. So uh, a synonym for conspiracy is collusion. The definition of collusion is a secret agreement or cooperation between two parties uh, for an illegal or dishonest purpose. Now, for to theorize is just to think. So people thinking about the possibility of collusion, so people thinking about the possibility of people getting together with an illegal or dishonest intent, that's pretty necessary. And also the only people who probably don't want you thinking about that are the people who are meeting together with dishonest and illegal intent. So let's continue to think about the possibility of that. That's how we keep our democracy safe. That's how we keep free thought and free speech safe. Right, so I got to mess with this camera because there's a limit on how long I can record, but I tried to do some settings. So we will see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it continues to record. So. First, we're going to get into CERN, which is the European Organization for Nuclear Research. So, I don't know if you guys have heard about the Higgs boson, what's called the God particle. I don't understand the, the complexity of all the physics and the research that they do. But I do know that the, the things that they're doing involve very heavy machinery. Uh, and there's a lot of different theories around crazy stuff time travel, um, I don't know if you guys know about the Mandela effect, but that's the idea that like things, collectively we remember things as different. And so some people think that there was some sort of event which may have triggered like a shift into a parallel universe. And we'll get into this in, in the video a little later on, but there's physicists and scientists that come from very reputable uh, institutions, University of Cambridge, Harvard, uh, University of Liverpool, places like this, that talk about possibly being able to create wormholes at CERN. Uh, and there's also a physicist there that talks about, you know, reality being stranger than fiction. And, you know, we've been shown in the last two years with COVID, with UFOs, with China's, uh, like, climate control technology that they have, with Jeffrey Epstein and that whole crazy situation with the island. Uh, and human trafficking. Sometimes reality really is stranger than fiction. So let's dive into the things that are really interesting that are happening today, but we don't always we don't always cover. So I don't know if you guys knew this either, but the World Wide Web was actually invented at CERN in 1989 by a scientist by the name of Tim Berners Lee. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. The birth of the web. The World Wide Web was invented by British scientist Tim Berners Lee. 1989 while working at CERN. I didn't know that. Should be common knowledge. Uh, these people working at CERN do big things. 
Uh, so what are they about? Uh, what does CERN stand for? At an, inter at, at an intergovernmental meeting at UNESCO of UNESCO in Paris in December 1951, the first resolution concerning the establishment of a European Council for Nuclear Research was adopted. So essentially what they're doing is nuclear research here. Um, so let's get in a little bit to the Higgs boson. I don't want to get into it too much. Um, you guys can research it on your own. This isn't a video primarily about the Higgs boson, but it's also referred to as the God particle. And essentially, from what I can glean from this, which is not much, because I'm not a physicist, uh, but I'm understanding this particle uh, is essential to understanding physics deeper. Uh, so they do research on the Higgs boson and physics uh, all sorts of stuff they talk about mainly what they what they focus on it says their main focus is particle physics so they also study antimatter and uh, dark matter I think those are the same things um, particles and forces all of these things which I want to look into more maybe I'll do some more videos on those uh, later so I don't know if you guys noticed this though, they're strange, they have a strange logo, um, especially if you are f uh, familiar with uh, the Bible or biblical literature or if you're a Christian, there is uh, pretty clearly, I just had a podcast with my best friend, his name is Marcus, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be unav available on Spotify, it might be available by the time this video is out, but immediately when I showed him this, he goes, that's 666. For sure, it's in the logo. You can see it pretty plainly uh, that there's three sixes. There's two interlocking circles, and there's three lines. Well, there's actually five lines. Two of the lines are very short. Three of the lines are very long, uh, and they make sixes. So that wouldn't be that big of a deal if it weren't for other symbolism and imagery that's strange about CERN. So if you if you look wide as if you I started at 666, that's logo. Um, you'll come up with an answer, and basically this guy says that he's making an argument that science is very heavily invested in the occult. I don't know if that's true. I'm really into science. I'm really into space travel, astronomy. I follow everything that Lex, that Lex Friedman uh, is doing with his podcast. I follow Elon Musk. I follow all sorts of um, very popular uh, like science information uh, uh, that's coming out and like I'm very interested I want to be an astronaut in the future I'm very interested in space travel physics all of these things um, but going back to uh, the beginning of the video when we're talking about collusion and conspiracy and and how we need to be free thinking and, and think about those things a lot of people have have questioned uh, what CERN is up to because of their their statements about possibly tapping into parallel universes, creating wormholes, you know, like they're messing with things that people are not sure if they want them to be messing with because we are all here on this earth and we all like reap the consequences of what other people are, are researching and, and doing. So the top answer is this guy making the, uh, the argument that science is heavily invested into the and it's strange, he shares this video or this picture of, and I don't know if this is true or not, this could be false information. If it's true, it's very interesting though. And we'll get into it a little later in the video, but apparently Apple sold its, surf, its first hardware for $666. And it says, bite into an Apple. Um, that's strange because, you know, if you think about the Apple in the Garden of Eden, uh, the very first Bible story of creation, uh, God said, there's a tree of knowledge. You know, you have free reign, you have free will in the Garden of Eden. Um, but there's a tree of knowledge in the middle of the garden, and you shall not eat from it. Uh, and if you think about the, the thing that we have now that contains all of the knowledge that we currently have as humans, its logo is an apple that was bitten into. Um, we live in Western civilization. It is, you can't separate Western civilization from Christianity as a, as a culture. So 
us having a device that has the entirety of human knowledge up until this point that we know about on a device that and its logo is an apple that's bitten into it's interesting so beyond that now this is this is where we we start to get into some very um weird stuff that you know i think people need to know about because it, it's things that happen in the world that are probably pretty important that the news doesn't cover because it can't cover everything so what's being shown on the screen right now is an excerpt that i'll show you guys later in the video uh it's an it's the opening ceremony for the railway in switzerland and it's not super close to the cern headquarters um but there's just some very strange things that that take place in switzerland and it's, it's very weird that it all takes place in switzerland um the u.n meets in switzerland CERN is located in Switzerland and France. Uh, this Goddard opening ceremony, which a lot of people think is satanic, if you see on the screen. If you're a Christian, like you don't need convincing. If you're not, maybe you think it's some Swiss cultural thing. Most people think it's satanic, and that's not to say that what most people think is right. However, it's kind of, it's hard to deny that, that a lot of the imagery in this opening ceremony is, is pretty satanic. Um, and for it being a thing as simple as a railway opening, you kind of have to look into like, okay, who put this on? Who was there? Was it really an opening ceremony for a railway opening or was that just a cover story for, for a satanic ritual that you know some of these elite people um, have thought to be involved in? So we'll get into that uh, a little later in the video. What we're gonna now and it's going to be revelation chapter 9 verse 11 it says they had just a quick preface some people think that cern is and the the tunnel opening some people will think it's trying these people are trying to open a portal to hell i have no clue if that's true but it's it's interesting. It's interesting. It's like why do people think that? Are they crazy or are they just thinking freely? I mean, what if what are the consequences if somebody really is trying to do that? Those are huge consequences. The consequences of looking into it and then it being false, very small. People might think you're a little bit crazy, but you know what? Everyone thought people people thought that these uh, conspiracy theories from 10 years ago that. You know, there would be a pandemic that would uh, usher in new authoritarian global regimes. I mean, that's happening right now under our nose. So maybe it's time to pay attention to what some of these people are saying, you know? Okay, so Revelation chapter 9, verse 11, it says, They had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek is Apollyon, that is, destroyer. Now, what's interesting is that apparently this CERN site was built in a place where a Greek temple to uh, Apollo or Apollyon. I'm not sure if those are the same thing. I'm not sure if Apollyon is just a biblical thing and Apollo is just a Greek god thing. But some people are saying online that this, this CERN site is built on a temple to this being, this like, uh, like, King, like king of destruction or angel of destruction or god of destruction uh, and it's interesting that we get into the god of destruction idea because there's a statue of Shiva uh, that's at the CERN site uh, it was given by the Indian like atomic uh, energy council or something like that um, some group of, of scientists in India that, that study uh, atoms uh, and particles um i think that's that's what i read um but anyway what's being shown on screen right now is the picture of the shiva statue if you if you guys don't know shiva is a hindu god uh and he's the god of destruction so if we go back to the revelation chapter 9 verse 11 they had his king over them the angel of the abyss uh which people think might be the um the cern uh, a large uh, hadron collider, which is a particle collider. 
um, I mean, what, what you're doing at that point is really messing with reality, you know, and if, if we believe that God created reality, maybe it's not so good to, you know, mess with things that, that we're not supposed to mess with. So, so they're saying in this verse, which is uh, like a vision or dream that this, this man named John had in the Bible, and it came from Jesus, and you know, he wrote it down, and this is like vision of the end days. Um, so they're saying that over whatever this site is, the abyss, uh, he saw this destroyer, and maybe that's Shiva here. It's being right now. Shiva is indeed the god of destruction. All right, so what we're gonna get into now is I'm gonna show you the, the opening ceremony for the Goddard base tunnel. Um, if you guys don't wanna see something that is like this, something that is like satanic uh, in nature, then I suggest like skipping through the video or not watching it. Um, I wouldn't show, if there's any like kids watching, I wouldn't show it, they just very scary. Um, I don't even like to watch it, but at the same time, especially for Christians nowadays, like it's very important to know that this sort of thing uh, is happening and also there's people who are there in attendance who are world leaders um, part of the elite as, as we all like to say now so I want to watch it yourself in God Opening ceremony, uh, opening ceremony, railway, Switzerland, something like that. Uh, it'll come up. So I'm gonna skip into the part in the video where there's this man in a uh, like a Baphomet costume. I mean, it's hard not to think if you see this and you know that they're, you know, they dug, they dug this incredible tunnel and then people are, trying, you know, they're trying to dig a tunnel to hell. It's hard. And then you watch this, it's like, well, how the heck am I supposed to think otherwise? <laughs> you know? So in the background, background of all this too, there's a circular uh, video graphic and it looks a lot like the Large Hadron Collider. I'll pull that up you guys right now. Uh, yeah, so... Essentially, it's like... The, it's like concentric circles, you know? People have also photoshopped the Shiva statue in the middle of the, the Large Hadron Collider. Um, and uh, it fits fits in very interestingly. So that circle or collider looks a lot like this uh, this circular video graphic that they have going on. Very strange. Right now we'll skip to a photo of people who are in attendance. A lot of suit in a later time, you know. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, suits and ties, who knows who's there. Um, I don't think this is for a railway opening. Uh, I get that it's a big deal. I get that there's a lot of people that worked on it. Apparently like seven people died working on it. But this does not seem like the sort of festivities that, uh, that you'd have for something like this. Uh, a simple cutting of the ribbon would have, uh, I think, sufficed. For Genesis chapter 3, uh, what is it, Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. Yeah, I guess we could do it now. 
uh, just a little bit. I might do a, another video on it in the future, but Genesis uh, chapter 3, verse 5 says, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as, as gods, knowing good and evil. So it's talking about how God warned Adam and Eve not to eat of the fruit of the, not to eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Which is a bit an apple. Uh, possibly, you know. Maybe not. Maybe, uh, you know, I could be, I could be mistaken about all this, but I just want to show the information, see what you guys think. Uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me, yeah, just tell me what you think. You know, be a free thinker. If you disagree, great. I'm glad to have a, a discussion. But that's all I want. So, what are we going to get into now? I guess we'll go Apple Flyer. I want to know if this is right. Um, if anyone... Hold up really quick. Apparently got to restart my computer. We're going to do it tomorrow. Okay, so if anyone knows if this is true or not, I would love to know that because that's just too on the nose, coincidental. Um, I could I could totally see how it could be fake. Um, it's just so perfect. Like if you see the symbolism of this of the forbidden fruit um, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, like it's it's too perfect. Um, but you know, reality is stranger than fiction sometimes. So let's segue into D Wave Systems, which is a Canadian quantum. Uh, computing company. So, I saw a video of this guy named Jordy Rose, and he's talking about D Wave and quantum computing. And I'm not going to play the whole video, it's 20 minutes long. You guys can look it up yourself, it's on screen right now. Type in Jordy Rose, quantum computing, artificial intelligence is here. And he talks about how dipping into the quantum realm uh, and bringing AI to life. He mentions an Elon Musk quote, actually, and he says, he says, you know, Elon Musk is, is half joking, half serious, because Elon warns against the danger of AI and what, what, you know, the danger that it could pose to humanity. And he says, you know, it's like we're conjuring demons. Uh, that's what Elon says. And Jordy Rose uses it as an example. And, and Jordy Rose, you know, goes on to say, he's like, I don't think we're conjuring demons. Like, they're not, it's not necessarily like that, but he likens them to beings from, uh, H.P. Lovecraft stories, which are terrifying, and he says, essentially what he says is that dipping into the quantum world is like dipping into parallel universes and bringing, he, he's saying that AI is like life forms from parallel universes, which, you know, could be, but, yeah, and then he goes on to say, you know, despite all this, uh, you know, we're hiring, and it's like, it, it's just funny that some of these guys, some of these people know that they're messing around with technology that, that we have no clue what it is. Um, so, again, it's a long video. Jordy Rose, quantum computing, artificial intelligence is here. Uh, go see what he has to say. So this is a picture of a D-Wave quantum computer. I'm gonna play a video of the Large Hadron Collider. This is Go watch it on YouTube for yourself if you want. It's a CERN YouTube channel. Uh, just type in the Large Hadron Collider, CERN, C-E-R-N, and it'll come up. It's about uh, a little less than nine minutes through the video. Uh, eight minutes, 48 seconds. And we'll see what this person has to say. You have the great to tell us what we do. The story about the nature of space-time. Her name is Lisa Randall from Harvard University. This what's really out there, what's fundamentally there. We could make a complete series of new particles. We could make... And there's this physicist, and they mentioned his name earlier in the video, but I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, I'll play it from the beginning. Big discovery about the nature of space-time, or just what's really out there, what's fundamentally there. We could make a complete series of new particles. We could make wormholes, which are little holes in space-time, 
in which you can go from one point in space and time to another point in space and time, so that you could travel to another uh, time. Scientific research is an exciting trip with a fuzzy map and an unknown destination. We are a bit like old-time explorers. We know there's a lot out there to discover, but if we knew exactly how and when we will discover it, it wouldn't be research. And research is the driving force behind the world we live in. Because none of the things that we enjoy would exist without the fundamental research that's gone on into electricity, into magnetism and nuclear physics for the past two centuries. No amount of applied research on the candle, for example, would have given us the electric light. Now, while that's true, and I think that scientific progress and material progress is incredibly important, I mean, it is. It's allowed us to feed, like, what, 8 billion people on this earth. That's why we have light, uh, in this room at least. We have the sun. Um, but I think, I think they're messing with things that, trust me, when, when he talks about being, like, like old-time explorers, like, that hits a, a part of my soul really hard because, like, I want to be an astronaut. And that is, um, that is huge for me, like being an explorer and, and finding out things that haven't been discovered before. Uh, however, with, the, with all the symbolism around it, it's just really, it's really shaky. And that's where you get into the collusion thing. It's like, I really hope, I really hope that they're doing what they say they're doing with the intention that they say is their intention. Because if so, you know, might be pretty cool. But at the same time, a lot of the symbolism around it, the, the logo being 666, um, having a, a god of destruction be on your, the, the site of your, um, see, it, it might send the wrong message. And then uh, even though the Goddard base tunnel isn't directly connected to CERN, um, there's just strange, there's strange things that are, that are happening uh, in the world that we that we just don't know about because the news doesn't report on it. That's really the, the purpose of this video is to, you know, you guys can go do your own research on it and uh, see what you think. You know, this could all just be nonsense, um, but at the same time, uh, I just think it's interesting enough to uh, to bring the information to you guys. So. Go do your own research and uh, subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming of interesting stuff that's going on in the world. And we'll see you guys next time. This was a fourth star map. I'm Tyler. God bless.